to Dabney Morgan, who's in the garden with us this morning. Good Dabney, morning. Good morning. You were telling me just before we came on. Yeah, the rain would be a welcome. I'll tell you, the pollen in You're the air, my, it. my eyes, that, everybody's having sneezing, allergies or right. something. Hopefully and, this rain and the will. rain would help to take some of that out. And of course, I'll tell you, with this warm weather we've been having, you know, things are getting a little dry. Plants are trying to flush out with growth. The trees are coming out and everything. So rain would be good for that as well, too. I would imagine they're a little confused, the plants, that is, oh, with God, all this weather well, back and but forth. But you know, from what Jeff's given, that we got that one bump, what about Wednesday, that may be a little bit of a problem. And those of us that maybe have already planted tomatoes, that 42 degree temperature at night, we may want to cover a few things that night, uh, just maybe like a sheet. Uh, are we, you know, there are grow covers available just so that should it drop down a little bit lower, we could have some damage. But other than that, I think we're okay. Yeah, that's some good advice there. All right, let's get to some callers. They've been waiting on the line. Let's first go to Linda in Hampton. Linda, good morning. What's your question for Dabney? Linda, you there? I think we lost. I think we lost Linda. Let's try going on to line two. Henry in Portsmouth. Henry, you still with us? We may have lost yeah, them. Well, we lost both of yeah. them. All right, we apologize for that. I'm waiting Let's for talk Debbie about Morgan. Giving, all right, hold on. We got someone I'm on the line. Linda. Go ahead. What's your name? Uh, you know, Linda. Hello? I think we're having a little technical, Some technical difficulty issues. this all right. morning. One thing that, you know, if everything needs to be done this time of year. Uh, you know, I think those of you that have not put out the crabgrass controls, I think if you use, uh, there are a couple of products that such as Dimension that advertise that we put them a little later. So if you're concerned with crabgrass, you can still do that as far as lawn's concerned. One real problem we're having this time of year, folks are getting this little grass with little seed heads on the top. That's a, a, a we consider that a weed, it's called poa annua. And unfortunately, there's nothing that we can do at this time of year to control that. But if you have a lot of it in your yard in the fall, you can treat at that time a pre-emergent to keep from it showing up next year. Of course, as far as vegetable gardens, you know, we just mentioned about tomatoes and everything, and everyone, are, everybody's planting their gardens at this time. And, you know, peppers maybe could go in, but primarily we're doing the lettuces, the beans, uh, some of the cool weather crops. And, of course, as far as flowers, and I brought one along. I was going to say, you got to give uh, some this color a, in the studio this Exactly. Morning. This is a Martha Washington geranium. Uh, normally, we think of geraniums being red, white, and pink. These uh, are very unique in that they come in a wider uh variety of colors they're more for cooler weather and, and people like myself that have a certain amount of shade these are great because they'll hold up better during the summer in the shade than the regular geraniums will they hold up pretty well with these changing temperatures too oh yeah they this this temperature is perfect for those they and when it gets real hot during the summer they go to vegetation you don't get a lot of blooms to them but then in the fall when the temperature breaks again they start blooming again so there's lots of things out there to be doing. And of course, those of us that brought our plants in last fall, the tropicals, the tender ones, let's go ahead and move those on outside. Again, that one night about Wednesday, you may have to pull them in or cover them, but the rest of the time should be fine. All right, Dabney Morgan, always a pleasure to have you here. Hey, yeah. we apologize to those folks who right. tried to call in. I'm going to, again, post your, uh, your email account on our Wavy Facebook right. page so that if you do have a question that you urgently want answered, go ahead and email Dabney directly. He's really good at getting back to you. One thing, though, urgently may not be answered. Maybe about three days before I get to you, because this time of year I'm gardening as well. But I will respond before the end of Dabney the week. Dabney will respond within three minutes of your email. <laughs> it's a guarantee that he has made this morning, all right? All right, Dabney, nice we appreciate you, it. Good to sure. see you. All right, we're back with one more check of your forecast. Stay with us.